Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I pray you guys are having a great Monday. Um, as you guys know, it is Monday again. And as I always do, I do my live Bible studies. Um, I'm in the car today. Um, I'm not going to be before you guys long. Um, this message is not a long one. It's still very relevant, though. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, and I pray that if you listen in now, that you will get something from it. But even if you tune in at a later time, that there would be something here that would minister to your spirit. So um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pray. And then we're going to get right into the lesson. So Heavenly Father, God, we thank you right now for this lesson that will go forth right now, God, that angel would decrease, that you would increase in me, that the word would be plain for the hearer and the listener, God, that it would be fresh manna from heaven. And we thank you. We bless you right now in Jesus name. Amen. So I just want to thank all of those that are on. Um, I don't see who it is at the moment, but I'm sure to show me at some point. And y'all have to excuse me because the children are in the car and y'all know how children are. You can tell them be quiet a million times and they still going to act stupid. So if I had to get black every once in a while, y'all, y'all, y'all pray for me, okay? <laughs> um, so this week's lesson is I am blessed AF, and I had people asking me like, now I wonder what that stands for. And if you know me, and if you've been following me for a while, then you know that with my lives, um, and especially with the studies that I've been doing here lately, um, there the titles are a little quirky, but it's meant to be like that um, because I want to put a spin on things that we look at right now here in the modern day as l modern lingo. But let's change it and let's make it biblical. So blessed. AF. Anybody want to take a guess? And if I already told you, don't even do it. Um, so if you want to take a guess at it, you can put the guess in the comments. But in the meantime, um, the scripture that we're going to be looking at today come from Psalms. I mean, Proverbs 3 verses 1 through 4, Psalms 5 and 12, and then Psalms 30 and 5. So Proverbs 3 and 1 through 4 read as such. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and years of life, worth living in tranquility and prosperity, the wholeness of life's blessings they will add to you. Do not let mercy and kindness and truth leave you. Instead, let these qualities define you. Bind them securely around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Psalms 5 and 12 says, For you, O Lord, bless the righteous man, the, uh, the one who is in right standing with you. You surround him with favor as a shield. And then Psalms 30 and 5 says, For his anger is but a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night. But a shout of joy comes in the morning. So this week's topic is I am blessed and favored. <laughs> um, so throughout the Bible, you see many accounts of God's blessing, of God blessing his people, as well as punishing those that do wicked. So God favors those that are righteous. And so when we are favored by God, he will place a shield around us. He will protect us and cover us. Ephesians 6 and 16 says, Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can distinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. God's chosen people are blessed and favored. Not only are the blessings of God on your life, but the favor of God is as well. And you can sit in rooms with people you aren't qualified to sit in with. To sit in with. You can hold titles and positions in areas you haven't studied in. God is just that good to his chosen people. And so when God made his people heirs of his blessings, there was nothing and no one that could stand in the way of it. The enemy seeks to take it. The enemy seeks to talk you out of your blessings, but it is your inheritance. You are 
blessed and favored. God blesses us with the fullness of his power. As long as we are his people, we are blessed. Our blessings don't suddenly end, but because we are blessed, our children and our children's children are blessed. We are blessed when we are going out and we are blessed when we are coming in. We are blessed in the city and we are blessed in the field. We are blessed and favored. So favor is sometimes defined as demonstrated delight. Someone who is delighted in you will show their delight. They will compliment you and tell you nice things. They will seek you out because it is in how... Ooh, I dropped my paper again. <laughs> it is in how they demonstrate their love that they validate your favor. And so when we have God's favor, we have God's approval. And God desires to connect with us. He desires to have a relationship with us. He wants to walk with you and talk with you because you are favored. Isaiah 66 and 2 says, For all these things my hand has made so all these things came into being by and for me, declares the Lord. But to this one, I will look graciously to him who is humble and contrite in spirit and who reverently trembles at my word and honors my commandments. The favor of God is upon you as long as you are walking in his will with Christ. Second Chronicles 16 and 9 says, For the eye of the Lord moved to and fro throughout the earth so that he may support those whose heart is completely his. Your heart has to be completely his. God wants you to be fully vested in the kingdom of heaven. He wants you to own your sonship. He wants you to walk in your divinity. We are his children. We are his sheep. And he is the diligent shepherd carefully tending to us and watching over us because we are blessed and favored. Romans 4 and 5 says, but to the one who does not work, that is the one who does not try and earn his salvation by doing good, but believes and completely trusts in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credit to him as righteousness, right standing with God. When you are in right relationship with God, you will rely on him fully. You will rely on him fully. The balance on your account won't deter you. The statistics stacked against you won't move you. The obstacles seemingly standing in your way won't make you even flinch because you are blessed. You are his people. You are heir to the throne of grace. You have favor and you have the grace of God. God is calling his people, calling for a people that will love him that will seek after him. He desires to bless us. He desires to guide us. He desires to protect us. Psalms 37 and 23 says, the steps of a good and righteous man are directed and established by the Lord and he delights in his way and blesses his path. We are going to experience trying times, but because we are blessed and favored, those times don't have to define us. They don't have to be the end all be all for us. God promised us victory over our enemies. God promised us peace that surpasses all understanding to guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We are blessed and favored. Amen. I pray you guys receive this message as short is sweet but very timely it's just a short tender reminder that we are blessed and favored as heirs to the throne of God and that as long as we continue to walk in our divinity we can walk in that blessed life and that life of favor I pray you guys enjoy the rest of your Monday and I hope you will tune in with me next Monday for next week's Bible study until then God bless you <laughs>